to come and confront your parents. Why? Because those parents are your reason for living on this earth. And number two, they are their connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the parents that led you to this religion and from this religion to heaven, inshallah. So when you negotiate with your parents, you should negotiate with them in respect and love and appreciation. The minute you see yourself, brother and sister, the younger generation, raising your voice on your parents, <coughs> realize psychologically you have no respect to your parents. Because raising your, your voice on your parents tells that you are willing to raise your voice on anybody that's negotiating with you, especially if you got stuck or cornered for, for any situation. So we have to watch for these things, brother and sister. Our family, our parents, are not just any parents. Let me tell you what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about those parents that we sometimes raise our voices on them. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, thank me and thank your parents. Did, did you hear the word? I, 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 honestly, I cannot, I can, I, in, 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 this word is so strong that really makes my heart shiver. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't say, Thank me, then thank Muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam, and thank uh, the Prophet Ibrahim or Prophet Adam. He said, thank me, and then to your parents. This to show you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated those two parents to almost his level. I told you last, the other day, somebody told me my parents are, are, are idiots. That's none of your business as a child. Whatever your parents do, you, do, you are not there to straighten them up or teach them life. You're there to respect them and love them and do what your parents said. Except in one exception, this is what Allah gave you. And you do it politely if your parents told you not to pray. If your parents told you not to fast. If your parents told you to do something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you not to do. If your parents told you to do anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you not to do, you can say, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. It's very simple. In politeness. The bridge between you and your parents has to be built on love, respect, and appreciation. And this appreciation to say to yourself that God gave me the best parents on earth. Because unless you have this feeling inside your heart, brothers and sisters, especially the younger generation, you will never appreciate the value of your parents in your life. There's a story I want to tell you. I did tell you the other day. I didn't finish it. I told you about a little girl that people came and knocked the door on, on their family, and she came, they came and started to teach her the Bible. And the father walked into the house, saw that those people being taught something, but he didn't ask. And he went and sat at home. He was so happy telling his community people that the school sent teachers to teach my, my, my children. One day, uh, one day, he walked into the, the house and he said, hello, and the preacher I said, oh, come and sit with us. He said, what are you reading? And they said, we're reading the Bible. This man never prayed. I'm going to tell you this. I, I, he told me and the family told me he never prayed. He never opened the Quran. But that sprung a light in his mind. And he went to his wife, who spoke no English, and started reprimanding her for allowing those people to teach his children the Bible. Not only this, they've been taking the children to church and teaching them uh, the Bible. So then, alhamdulillah, that he was able to take his children from that because they were saying to each other, the girl told me, that those, girl, those two children are one of us when they take them to gather. This happened, I would say maybe 15 or 20 years ago. The same family a month ago were traveling by air and they were occupying a couple of rows in the airplane. The same daughter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent her a husband that's a good Muslim. And he taught her how to pray and how to read Quran. She was sitting in an airplane, she told me, 
and reading Quran only a few weeks ago. And I was waiting to tell you the story so you know how important for us to watch what our children do. And the father was sitting at the other end of the airplane. He, he, she told me, he looked at her and he was happy that his daughter sitting and reading. Let's stop at the word reading. <coughs> and at one point, he leaned over to his daughter. He said, what are you reading? She said, I'm reading the Quran. She said, his eyes turned so big and he said, hide it. She said, hide what? He said, hide the Quran. Because they may think you're here to blow the plane up. And she said, she said, Dad, I am living in a free society. I'm reading my book. So I wanted to show you, brother and sister, what is it when we steal our children wrong now? When we don't know what we're doing with our children. I asked the daughter, I said, what did you do? Pray for your father, number one. She said, I have been telling him so many times, and he doesn't understand me. I just want to tell you that this that does not understand me. It comes from the point of view of not understanding each other. We don't have that bridge that allows us to meet in the middle and talk about ourselves, our religion, what we know, what we don't know. And we say, Alhamdulillah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this daughter to correct the footsteps of his family. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Brothers and sisters, we're going to keep talking about the family. And I think maybe next time we should talk about our relationship with our daughters. Not only the boys, but talk about the daughters. Inshallah, we will find it a good topic to bring it up and we discuss it with our, uh, uh, with you and our, among ourselves. So we need to learn how to keep our, our children, our children brother and sister. It's very important. I don't want to see my son or my daughter getting married and would have no knowledge in her heart. Once your daughter or your son are under your roof, they can listen to you. The minute they get married, well, they have more obligations. They, they may not listen to you. It's very important that we have, we keep that in our mind. I would like to remind you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still accepts donations outside. So please ge donate generously and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will repay you whenever you are in need. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim. في العالمين إنك حميد مسيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد